Oh, God. Oh, dear. Ah, so, good afternoon. Uh, welcome back to Daily Transfer Update. I hope everyone's having a wonderful Wednesday. Um, I know I am, that's for sure. <laughs> but, um, yeah, check out the specs. Who likes the specs? Yeah, I think they look quite cool. Anyway, let's talk about some players that could... Uh, could be leaving the club by the end of this uh, end of this window, which actually ends on the second of September, which is twelve days time. <laughs> um, I'll come back to some of these in a minute, uh, some of these comments and that. But yeah, so, um, twelve days time, the window shuts. Um, I said on a video the other day, a stream that I done the other day. I think Reese Nelson might be going out on loan. It's just just what I think. Um, I've got no inside info or anything on that, um, but I could see. Um, I can see him going out on loan. Um, Mkhitaryan, who knows? Is there a team in Germany, Italy, somewhere like that, that are coming in to, um, and bid for him? Well, if there is, they need to hurry up. And um, obviously, Mustafi, he's not been in the squads for the uh, Newcastle or the Burnley game. And um, apparently, he is that close, that close to joining Roma on loan. Um, <laughs> that last comment. Um, yeah, so he could be... Um, he could be going on loan to, to Roma with an option to buy at the end of that for about £18 million. Um, now, if that is the case, <coughs> excuse me, if that is the case, then um, does that leave us light at centre-back? Obviously, Mavropanos, Chambers. Chambers is another one that could go out on loan, actually, or even be sold. Who knows? Um, but does it leave us light if we, if we get rid of Mustafi? I don't know. I'm, it's a no, I don't rate him. I don't think he's good enough to play for Arsenal, but does... There's no time for us to go and get um, to go and get a centre back now. Obviously, we've got um, Rob Holding, Mavropanos, Callum Chambers, uh, Socrates, Louise. But really, I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. Holding, yes, he's fantastic, but you never know how he's going to come back from his injury. Uh, Mavropanos, flattered to be deceived by him, always injured as well. Um, obviously, Callum Chambers, mm, not really, not not for me. So there's there's two or three that. Are, Kind of, listen, I think I think holding will be fine. Um, I don't see it being an issue, but you never know. He could come back, and if he comes back too quickly and rush too quickly, that's him out for the season again. So you've got to be um, you've got to be very careful when players are coming back from a long term injury because um, it, it can trigger another injury, and then before you know it, it's another Jack Wilshere or Abu Dhabi situation where they're always out injured. So. Hopefully Rob comes back and um, and does really well for us. But yeah, and like I said, Mustafi is very close to going to um, to Roma, which um, which is mad, really. Like, <laughs> what have they seen that we can't see? I don't know. Um, Mesut Ozil, that's another one. I don't think he's going anywhere this window um, again, unfortunately. But he has opened up a shop apparently in America. Somebody was telling me the other day. Um, so yeah, the links to DC United they could be real. Who knows? Um, you never know. He might have um, he might have been open to it. You know what? With all the, um, the the stuff going on and with his personal life outside his house and stuff like that, so you never know. Mesut Ozil could be um, could be on his way out as well. If it's not this window, I fully expect him to be gone next summer. That's for sure. But um, but yeah, there's there's a few. Um, who else is there? Granit Xhaka. That's what I want to speak about. Granit Xhaka was uh, subject to a bid from Inter Milan earlier on in the transfer window, like when it was open to buy players into England as well. Um, he was, um, Inter Milan put a bid in for him. We rejected that. <coughs> and um, I fully expect them to come back in for him. Um, he wasn't in the squad at the weekend. Apparently, he picked up an injury. Not sure where he picked that injury up, but he picked up an injury. Could that mean that he's, um, could that mean that he's not going anywhere if he's injured? Could that mean that, um, he wasn't injured and that's an excuse, although he was at the game and he was sat next to the judge, Lee Judges. He was sat next to him, apparently. So now they're besties. And uh, and yeah, but listen, I think um, I think if a right offer comes in and if Inter Milan do come back in and bid for him again and the right offer comes in, take the money. If we can get more than we paid for him, get him off the wage bill, get rid, bye-bye. I think we've got more than enough in midfield now. What well, we've... Um, with um, Sabeos, Joe Willock um, stepping up, uh, Genduzzi, Torreira. I think we've got more than enough in that midfield. And um, I can't really see Xhaka getting that many games this season, like compared to the last two seasons or three seasons where he's played pretty much every single game. I don't see that being the case this season. You know, Joe Willock has stepped up so much and started both games. Obviously, um, 
to um, sorry, obviously uh, Xhaka was apparently injured for the game at the weekend, but I don't see him. I don't see him keeping his starting spot all season. I just don't see it happening. And I think that you know we've got way too many options in that midfield to to have somebody who can't, um, can't turn. Is 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 slow. Is tight. Um, is turning is just ridiculous. He's so left footed. He can only actually turn one way as well. So you know when he tries to turn the other way, it's just ridiculous to watch. So <laughs> so yeah. Um, we have still got time to get players out. It's whether people want them. It's whether teams want them. But Mustafi is definitely going. I'm adamant on that. Um, I'm as adamant on that as I was adamant that Tierney was going to sign on deadline day all through the summer. I said that. And um, obviously, Tierney signed on deadline day. So I'm as adamant about that. Um, <laughs> I'm as adamant about that as um, as I am about Mustafi joining Inter Milan. So there we go. Anyway. Um, let's read some of your comments and questions. Big up 233 of you watching live. I do appreciate that. Um, please stick a like on the content. There's only 33 of you that have done that so far. Um, let's read some of these. Any Liverpool Arsenal pre match content come out today or tomorrow? I know you'll do your stuff Friday. Just wondering. Um, I'm not too sure, to be honest with you, mate. I might, I might, um, I might have something coming out. But I'm, I'm waiting for the guy to get back to me. He's a Liverpool fan. So I am, I don't know. Just waiting for a DM back from him. So we shall see. Um, would you take Isco, says David. <coughs> Bruv, I love Isco. Absolute baller. Prediction for the Liverpool Arsenal game, says Thomas. Good afternoon to you, mate. Um, I don't know. Uh, that'll be in my preview. I'll, I'll have a little think about it between now and then because it ain't going to be easy. Um, Ryan, the podcast will be out first week of September. <coughs> the person's already um, sorted for that. So I just need to go down, meet up with them, record it, and that'll be out. Um, early prediction for the game. I don't know, man. See, the thing is, it's kind of hard to um, it's kind of hard to predict because you don't know who's going to be available come um, come the, that game. You know, there could be players that we sit here and go, "Oh, well, he should start and he should start," and then it comes to the game and they're injured or something. Do you know what I mean? So it is difficult. Um, it's difficult to to say. But the one thing I will say is, I wouldn't start Pepe. I don't. I don't want him starting the game. I don't think he's quite up to scratch um, yet. He looked sharp when he came on at the weekend. Don't get me wrong. He looked sharp. Um, but I don't think he's, um, he's quite ready for a Liverpool away yet. But, or maybe even a Tottenham at home. Who knows? Maybe give him 20 minutes, 25 minutes um, at Anfield um, when they're tiring. Can Arsenal beat Liverpool, says Daniel. Yes, we can. Definitely, definitely we can beat them. Leave for Arsenal match, says Brandon. <laughs> I don't know about that, mate. So somebody told me I look like um, a German spy with these glasses on in the comments a little bit earlier, mate. <laughs> it's like, Jesus Christ, just got blonde hair and blue eyes, mate. I think that's a little bit, you know, a bit out of order, you know? Pepe's full debut is going to be against Spurs and he'll score a hat-trick. I love that, Tony. Love it. Would you take Milinkovic Savage? Yes, I would, uh, to replace Xhaka. Yes, I would, Michael. The problem is he's going to cost about 80 million quid. <coughs> and um, and I think that we're, if we're going to spend that sort of money on a player, I think that the club will be buying a centre-back, maybe a um, Upper Mancano, maybe pull it towards a Koulibaly, someone like that. I can't see Koulibaly happening, don't get me wrong, but but um, definitely Upper Mancano. And it wouldn't surprise me if we bid for him in January and try and get it done. <laughs> I swear. Pepe has to start. Well, it, to be fair, I wouldn't start him, and I'll tell you why I wouldn't start him. Yeah, I get you saying pace and all that, mate. Yeah, and I, I get you. I get your point. Yeah, I wouldn't start him for the simple fact, yeah, that Liverpool are extremely good down the channels, down the wings. So what you want to do is be compact and sit deep. So go with a four at the back. Yeah, go with. Um, Go, I'm not going to give my team away, but I've already got my formation and then with the ball and without the ball. And um, yeah, when you've um, when you've not got the ball, drop two back and it becomes a six. So that way you you um, stop their uh, wing play, you stop them getting in behind you and they have to try and play through the middle of the park, by which time you've got your two midfielders just sat in front of that six to make it an eight. Then you've got your goalkeeper, there's nine, and then you've got your attacking mid 
and your striker who pull out to the wing. So when you get the ball, yeah, you can just ping balls down the wing to them and that's when you all start pushing up. So I could say somebody said I should be asking the manager, see, I've got this shit on lock. So would you play Mickey? No, I wouldn't. I would never play him again, mate. We need to park the bus. Exactly, 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 exactly. Hit him on the counter attack. I'll take a nil-nil right now. Um, just sit there, park the bus, everyone behind the ball, and um, then when you use your Abamyang and um, whoever else you want, whoever else I'm going to pick to go in the uh, number 10 position or midfield position or whatever. And, um, and yeah, as soon as you've got, um, got the ball, yeah, they split out to the wings. You get down the wings, your whole team starts pushing up. As soon as you lose the ball, they suck back in. Everyone tucks back and um, you park the bus. You, you stop their wing play because that's where they are they're unbelievable. They're, their wingers are just a joke how good they are. And then when they've got Firmino as well, linking the play, you need to sit on him and stop him. So, so yeah, it's going to be interesting. I think we can beat them. It's going to be hard. But I'll be honest, I'll be, I'll be happy with a draw. I'll be over the moon with a draw. That's an improvement. So, so yeah. When's Tierney coming back, says Lionel. Um, I think in about three weeks, mate. Two, three weeks, I think it is. Would you take Zaha next summer? Um, mm, probably not. Probably not. There's some good players for free next summer, that's for sure. I think Timo Werner's a free signing. Ericsson's going to be a free signing. Um, and, and obviously, unless these players sign a contract, but they're not signing one at the moment. Um... <laughs> Fraser, yeah, that's another one. Fraser's and um, a free signing. See, that's the thing. There's some good signings out there. Some good signings out there. And, um, you know, Arsenal have just got to be very clever in what they do in terms of getting players in next summer and in January as well. You know, we could go and tap some of these players up in January and, and get them signed up for the summer because they're allowed to speak to foreign clubs in January. So we should be going out there actively seeking to do that. And I do think we will now as well. So, you know, we've got proper people in charge of the club now in, in terms of running, um, running our finances and running our, um, our business in terms of transfers. So it's going to be good. Um, I think, you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to how the season goes and how, how we go in January and whether we go and bid for players again. Like I said, Upper Mancano is definitely somebody we've wanted. Didn't have enough time to get it done. Will we go back in January? Who knows? Anyway, um, I will be back at five o'clock. I'll uh, do a live stream at five. Um, 409 of you watching live, please do stick a like on this video before you all leave. Have a wonderful Wednesday and I will see you all later, peeps.